Hello everyone, this is size 14 grub hawk and uh, I'm gonna be making a transparent midge so I'm not using thread and uh, I'm gonna use this is a clear stretch elastic 0.5 millimeter and just gonna start below the eye take your time it's a little bit tricky, it's, it's slippery actually, but once you get one lap over, then you're fine. And keep going. Once you reach halfway, you just cut one piece off. And then keep going all the way. Just when you get to the middle of the band, come back using touch and turn. Now loosen the stretch now, don't stretch too much, gradually release and minimize the stretch. So then we can have a nice shape. So here what I'm going to do are some cheeks, so I'm using um, these are orange spawn flakes and if you can just catch that on the top with the same thread and here just use the loose turn now because we need nice thorax here okay now here I'm gonna catch with a clear mono thread this is a clear mono thread and because it's a transparent pattern so I don't want any thread in here, normal thread so once you get that on catch this gently once you secure it properly use few turn to completely secure and then take these extra ones off okay and now I'll do is just bring this one down in fact this way because we need a nice head so once you get up properly underneath bring both of these spawn flex cheeks forward and do the loose turn just loosen them don't stretch them too much we need a nice and neat Head, you know so once you've done that do a few turn to secure it make sure they're sitting okay you can always come back you have to be like a hundred percent because it's emerging pattern so shape is not 100% necessary. I'm holding my hook upward so I don't slip and keep coming towards the middle. Here I'm going to use Glow Bright number 16. It's a white color just to give some breathers on the top. So just get one, just get one strand, double it up. In fact, do it twice so we can have a nice if it's too much then you can obviously come back now here just take that extra one off what I'll do I'm gonna use now we finish now to finish out this button and then use all the coloring and the rest of the material on it so once you done few wrap on this cut this off that's fine leave this as it is at the moment because I'm gonna add some more color into it so basically what I'll do here 
I need some olive effect onto the head actually. You can cover these cheeks as well with this. And underneath the cheeks just put red permanent marker. And onto the chin as well. Now I'll show you why. Now that's done actually. All you have to do is just get the varnish or UV resins. And very carefully we need a nice big head here so I'm gonna work gradually with this one First I'm going to cure this and see how it looks. Okay, I need a bit more over this side. Make sure you don't close the eye, you know. Okay. So that's care now. And I'm going to cut this off. So there you have another variation of uh, midge, I would call it transparent midge, great pattern. And I hope you like this one. Thank you very much for watching.